All right, folks, uh, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome aboard our, our going to be a solo Amazon brief since uh, we're kind of done with full throttle. Doing it a little out of order. Usually solo Amazon is every Monday at uh, 10 a.m. Uh, starts our week off. But since, uh, you know, last Thursday and Friday, capitalism decided to fail once again. I shuffled things around. I'm like, let me do full throttle. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then I'll I'll throw on a little solo Amazon brief uh, at the end. So uh, welcome aboard, man! What a what a freaking fantastic uh, week! And it's isn't it fun to be able to say what a fantastic week when you look at the markets? Uh, again, no offense to all of our new members, but this is when people start beating down the door to talk about options. They're like, "Holy shit! How?" Um, you know, my 401k is getting destroyed and these people are making money as the market goes down, sideways or up. The answer is, yeah, uh, being an options trader, you can potentially uh, make money up, down or sideways. I prefer down. I prefer blood in the streets. Uh, but that's also Gordon Gecko talking. Wiz doesn't like blood in the streets, doesn't like people getting hurt in the market. But again, Gordon Gecko, Wiz. I like Gordon Gecko. I like Wiz. I like Gordon Gecko. Uh, and this week we were uh, definitely Gordon Gecko. So uh, my mission objective on Monday morning, what did I tell you? I'm going to show you how 2023 can be your most profitable year ever. And I was going to show you how we trade here and how we manage risk, right? Uh, as of this morning and yesterday afternoon, Sniper, close to $19,000. Knock on wood. I don't think I had a, I didn't have an SPX. Sniper shot go against me this week. They all closed. If you stayed in them for maximum profit, uh, you know, close to 10 grand just in snipers. We had our regional bank trades. Uh, it just couldn't, couldn't have picked a better week. God takes care of fools, drunks, and sailors. So I got my bases loaded. So could not have asked for a better week to demonstrate what we do here at Topkin Options. Again, I didn't charge you for this week, and all you got was uh, was profit. So can't, uh, as of this morning, when I looked a little while ago, we only have seven full throttle slots, uh, which, you know, I guarantee you we'll, we'll get rid of those uh, today. Uh, and it's interesting because I would have thought they'd all be gone by now, but we have like four or five new lifetime members. So instead of people filling up actually the full throttle, people are making the, in my opinion, great call to go straight into the lifetime group. And I didn't even brief lifetime this week. So that, that kind of shows you the power uh, of, of what we're doing. And, and that is old. I think there's four. Mike just joined. Mike in Naperville, man. Uh, so Mike's, I just sent you the, the links to get into the uh, lifetime, Mike. Um, welcome aboard, Al. Awesome. Yeah, so Mike just, uh, I'm selling my house in Naperville, signing the papers today. Congrats, bro, on the, uh, on the closing, man. That's great. I love Naper Tucky. I was one of the, you know, no offense. I, I can't stand the weather, but Naperville was beautiful, man. I loved it. Kids were raised there. Matthew Jack started playing hockey there. My beautiful princess Keely was born at the uh, Naperville Regional or whatever the name of the hospital is. So uh, join Lifetime today. Thank you for doing Lifetime monthly. My whole life is about to go vertical like a hornet off the flight deck. Stoked. So welcome aboard, Mike. I appreciate that. Um, Lawrence, welcome new members. This is a unique squadron. Cannot get these shared ideas and Intel anywhere else. I'm a lifetime member. Uh, awesome Lawrence PJ. And that's because you're a great human being uh, that you are. Thanks Wiz. PJ. That's uh, humbling. Thank you for the, uh, the, 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 the kind words. I appreciate that. Just leading, uh, you know, trying to lead with my heart and my truth. If you lead with your heart and truth, it is impossible. It's impossible to fail. You can't fail. There's no failure if you lead with your truth and your heart. Uh, quick disclaimer, we printed money this week. Uh, let me pay my attorneys. We could have also gotten destroyed this week. Yeah, and we didn't because <laughs> we know what we're doing. This is not my first rodeo probably my, my fifth, especially with a fin financial crisis like this. This is perfect. Wiz gets furious at this financial crisis. You've heard me ranting all week. We bailed out limousine liberals in Silicon Valley. 
No, the, the banks did via a fund. Oh, banks are just charities. They just, you know, they don't pass fees on to, on to you. It's so stupid. And I think even the, the elites are kind of starting to quiet down this week because we all know, unless you're a complete idiot, that we bailed them out. The fact that we've essentially nationalized banks, that we, you, me, are backstopping every deposit in this country means we own the banks. Maybe this was their, this is the ultimate socialism right here. Now everything's nationalized. Well, if we're going to go down that route, Jamie Diamond and all you CEOs at banks, you're going to make 75 grand a year and get two weeks vacation. We're done. No more jets, no more anything. If we're, if we are all shareholders in this bank, perks are gone. (laughs) You are the new fed printing money. Thank you, Thomas. We've, Yeah, this was, uh, yeah, I'll give it to you. We've, uh, well, whatever. Well, let's just do our brief here. Yeah, so people are asking for the links. Um, You're a little late, but seven slots-ish remain. So there's the quick brief, and then we'll trade because I I don't need to waste time on all this stuff. Uh, This is where you want to be. Either the annual, wrong marker, the annual uh, full throttle that gets you into the Hunter's self-directed investment squadron, or uh, there's like seven or eight people that are doing the Hunter's monthly, and then they'll shoot us an email in a couple months whenever you're like, you know what, ready to upgrade and save some money. So those are the the two best places to be. Obviously, the value is the annual, but if you want to flight test stuff and be in the investment club, you do the Hunter's monthly. If you're just, you know what, Wiz, I'm still getting my my feet underneath me. Perfect. 295 bucks a month. That's it. Uh, and then we'll talk solo Amazon, which is cheaper than that. But uh, <clears throat> if you want three live trade briefs a week, you want eight training sessions, you want text alerts, you want email alerts, uh, 295 a month is a no brainer. I went down to Fort Lauderdale last night to a Broward Sheriff's Office Advisory Council brief and, uh, you know, bought all the, the new guys uh, and gals a round of drinks and it was about 400 bucks. So, uh, for a round of drinks in Fort Lauderdale, you can get airborne with full throttle monthly. Uh, yeah, the <clears throat> the lifetime, the monthly lifetime is right here. It's fifteen hundred bucks a month, uh, and that's a discount. That is a discount because the current lifetime membership is twenty two five. I haven't had a chance. You're lucky. I haven't had a chance to get with my techie uh, to raise this. I think it's supposed to be like eighteen fifty a month now. So my laziness is your profit. So get in here now because it's supposed to be 22.5 for this year, the lifetime. And as you heard earlier this week, it started at nine years ago. So the people who got in the lifetime at nine are good to go. And the people who get in now at 1500 a month are good to go because who knows, two, three years from now, this might be 50 grand a year from my mouth to God's ears. Why? Because we pay for performance. If I start sucking, nobody's going to want to be in Lifetime, but kind of did a little bit of a Ricky Bobby this week. I woke up Monday morning and I pissed excellence. Uh, Guy, if you start monthly, can you upgrade to full throttle annual with the hunters included? Absolutely, Guy. Absolutely, man. You got it. Um, Yeah, just do it for a couple months and then you email support uh, at Top Gun Options and Susie will upgrade you into an annual. Yep. All right, let's go. Oh, real quick. So Susie's podcast dropped. I think I gave you the link yesterday for the actual podcast. If you want to go for a walk and listen to it or on an airplane or driving, this is the YouTube video of our debrief. If you care to see Susie and me chatting back and forth. So that's the actual video debrief. And then here's the actual uh, podcast link again. If you're a driver, going home from work or whatever, there's the podcast. So she called it Psychedelic Summer Camp. (laughs) So you can go check out uh, Susie's uh, brief. Mike, uh, I missed yesterday's brief, had a VA appointment. Mike, hopefully that went well. Is there a recording posted somewhere? Yes, right here. Here is the replays from everything we did this week. Everything we did. Today's brief will be on here as well. So right there is the link in the chat box to this replay page. And it's pretty easy to remember. Go.topgunoptions.com slash FT replay. 
Okay. All right. Anything else? So, yeah, yesterday, uh, again, if you join, I told you, man, as I was ending yesterday's brief, I said, what? Taking a look at the market here. I might I might be firing a snipe here. Absolutely. Uh, there we go. Let me let me let Mike into the team. If you join the lifetime, I get a request that says, hey, these people want to join. And then I approve you right there. So Mike makes it 212 uh, in our investment club of some of the best traders and investors I've seen in 30 years. Why? Because we're trading our own money. Um, so here you go. There was a snipe. And this is the, I love Cecil yesterday because I, I, I shot a sniper at 1144. As soon as we got done the brief, I'm like, you know what? Bull put spread time. Boom. Snipe. Wiz, I followed you on the trade. Can you give me more commit criteria what you're looking for? I said, what? It's the battle of 3850 today. A lot of open interest around 3875. I think we get a little bit more of a pop uh, mid-afternoon. Let's go take a look at the S&P 500 yesterday afternoon. I showed you what I did the day before when I said we're going to pin up at 3900. I was wrong. It went right through 3900 uh, and uh, uh, and went to 3910, 3915, uh, and that was about the six grand in S&P 500 trades. <clears throat> so when I fired that snipe, what did I just tell you? I said we're going to get a mid afternoon pop. What happened at 220. There's your mid-afternoon pop. So if you stayed in that bull put spread, you made 2200 bucks. If you were in the hunters or the lifetime group, there was 2200 bucks. Since I had to leave to go to Fort Lauderdale early, I put in a closing order and I got filled and it was closed at right here. 80% 1700 bucks in what was that? An hour and a half? Let's just say two, uh, two hours. 1700 bucks in two hours. So, uh, yeah, PJ, so these sniper, this is why you want to be in the hunters or the lifetime, right? These aren't text and email alerts. Text and email alerts are from the live trade briefs, right? I'll show you today. We'll do it. We'll do an Amazon trade. I'll show you. I'll send out a text and email alert. But the text and emails take, I'm quick, and it takes about five to seven minutes for me to, get all the stuff together for a uh, for text and an email alert. So that's why we came up with the hunters. This is why we came up with the lifetime because I can drop, this is group me. This is an app. The lifetime people have an app on their phone. So I'm, I can be sitting in somewhere and getting some Intel from some of my other groups. And I post it immediately. This is why. Uh, awesome. Yes, Al. Absolutely. No, you folks, whenever, Whenever I do a trade, I paste it right here in the lifetime and then right there in the hunters. They're the exact same trades. The lifetime folks get a little bit more love because the, the well, I'll show you on the member page, because uh, the, the hunters investment club is on the website. The group me for lifetime is an app. So that's why it's a little bit you know, more of an investment. So uh, the Lifetime Group gets more of me, so to speak. I was sitting at the Broward Church dinner last night, posted Intel in there. So um, this is, the, the Lifetime's where you want to be, but the the Hunters is a good gateway drug. If you want to, you know, be in an investment club and get my stuff uh, right there. But Lifetime gets more of me. Does that make sense? <clears throat> Gordon and Deborah, yeah, it's fifteen hundred bucks a month, not not for life. No, no, no. It, maybe your question: fifteen hundred bucks a month for lifetime? Yes, you don't pay fifteen hundred bucks uh, for life. Uh, I'm not. Yeah, it's fifteen hundred bucks for twelve months. It's just it's twelve total payments of fifteen hundred bucks, which is it. That's a total of eighteen grand. As of this morning, in Three trading days, we're looking at about nineteen thousand dollars in profit. So this is why the lifetime is that type of money. So it's fifteen hundred bucks for uh, just twelve months. Yep. And as soon as you join the lifetime, just like you saw I did with Mike, I send you the two links to join uh, the lifetime uh, group, the lifetime team. So there you go. It's in the uh, it's in the chat box. And like I said. I haven't gotten around to raising the price of the monthly. It should be like 1850 based on the current lifetime membership, but you guys luck out. I didn't raise it yet. 
So there you go. So, uh, no, no, no. So Al, the answer is no. And full throttle also gets the same trades, but like seven minutes later by text. No. So Al, if I'm in a live trade brief for primary weekly or accelerated retirement, and I see a trade, even, you know, maybe that day or something like that, text an email, but the sniper trades, my S and P 500 sniper trades are absolutely not part of full throttle. They are, they are for lifetime folks and, uh, and the hunters. Okay. So no, the answer is no, the full throttle you're getting, I'll do it today. I'll, even though we're in solo Amazon, I'll show you a text and email alert today, but the answer is no. My sniper trades are only for lifetime and hunters. Make sense, vertical head nod, which is fine. I'd, I'd clear up any confusion. Jan was doing some great work yesterday. Wesley, Wiz, great entry on your SPX bull put spread. Glad I'm glad I followed you, Wes. Shit hot. All right. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, all right, let's go. Um, I, I really don't have much more to say on this. They released video today from the Reaper or whatever it is of the incident. And I love how in, indignant we act, right? I mean, like, uh, 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 oh, come on, folks. I mean, it, this is, let me just, it'll be a very quick Ukraine brief today. This is going to get worse. There you go. Ukraine brief complete. I've said that before the invasion. I said that at the invasion the whole time. And it has done what? It has gotten worse. Last March, Joe Biden said, my God, no, we're not sending tanks. Tanks would be. And you remember, he creepily leaned forward like he does when he's weird and goes, that would be World War Three. Two months ago, we're sending tanks. Did you? And if the liberal media actually were doing their job, they'd be shouting questions like, Mr. President, you said no tanks. It would be World War Three. Now you're sending tanks. But this media is like, yay, Ukraine. Yay, tax money. Yay, war. Because their kids aren't serving. None of these elites kids go in the United States military. And the number one recruitment source for the United States military was, not is, was veterans. I do not know a veteran, and I know a shit ton of veterans who want their kids to go in. I'm, t I'm begging my son, Matthew. I mean, Jack's going to CU Boulder next year, and he wants to go Navy ROTC. I'm like, buddy, I love you. I love both my kids, all three of them, obviously. But I'm like, I would not, I would not raise my hand to serve this country today. We're being invaded from the southern border. Do you see the thousands of people that just we're it, whatever? Not even going to rant. This is going to get worse. China, Taiwan is going to get worse. Israel, and Iran's got to get worse. Back in the day, you know, a Ronald Reagan kind of America shining house on the hill. The world was a little bit, you know, a safer place. Weakness invites aggression. We got a senile 80 plus year old who's the president. We have a, a quota higher as the vice president. You think any country in this world respects the United States? The answer is no. <clears throat> exactly, Aaron. Yeah. Nope, I've told my son absolutely not a good idea, no matter how much he wants to fly fighters. Aaron, I said the same thing. Well, you know what I told Jack and Matthew? I'm like, guys, I got two fighter jets. <laughs> well, you guys can, I'll teach you both how to dogfight. You can go beat the shit out of each other over the Everglades in our L-39s. I don't, I don't want you doing this. Um, we all laughed this week uh, when Ken Griffin uh, was like, absolutely should not have bailed out the bank. This is... This would have been a great lesson on a moral hazard, but we don't do that. Exactly, Aaron. You grab one too, man. Well, let's get the, uh, I'm going to manifest the No Fallen Heroes flight demonstration team. Let's get a, uh, let's go do the air show circuit, man. <laughs> Lou Dog, are you open to adopting me just for the dog fight? You got it, man. As long as your house broken. So again, from Jim Kramer, who is an absolute failure if you there are etfs google it there are etfs the reverse kramer or the inverse kramer it's irk or something or ikr there are in there are mutual or not mutual funds there are etfs that 
track Kramer and there are mutual funds that do the exact opposite of Kramer. And I think the inverse Kramer is destroying the S&P 500 year to date. The dude a couple of weeks ago said Silicon Valley Bank is a great $320 stock. I love it. It's at zero right now. How do you get to keep your job and suck? I, I, I get it's entertainment. I'm freaking entertaining. I can do uh, a hell of a lot better than that guy. So it's, it's yeah, always conditions, man. You got to be housebroken. Um, the president, I'm not going to beat a dead horse, just completely lied this week with the bank bailout. And, uh, read my lips. Not one penny of taxpayer money is going to bail out the bank. But absolutely a lot of pennies of people who have bank accounts, which is just about everybody in this country. Just about everybody in this country is bailing out the banks. Uh, Elizabeth Warren, Pocahontas, was frothing at the mouth yesterday, blaming Jerome Powell for all of this shit. Of course, she can't look in the mirror, right? Runaway, reckless government spending has nothing to do with inflation. Joe Biden, in one of his lucid moments, when was it, a year ago, whenever it's like, yeah, I think kind of, I think a lot of this government, because they were searching for answers, right? Inflation is transitory. Oh, oh uh, it's not. Uh, it's Putin. Uh, he one time let it slip. Like, I, yeah, I think, you know, kind of all this government spending kind of juiced inflation. You never heard that again. I think they walked it back later in the afternoon. Like, Joe Biden does not speak for the president of the United States. But Elizabeth Warren, it's the Fed's fault. Yeah, it kind of is. But the same Elizabeth Warren who's like, it's the Fed's fault. Does that, I mean, does she not remember history? Right here, everybody, including Elizabeth Warren, is frothing at the mouth. Oh, my God, we're all going to die of COVID. The Fed has to do something. And right there, Jerome Powell did something. And then that happened. And now that he's taking away the punch bowl here, this is happening. It's Jerome Powell's fault. We I, come on, guys. You know this. This isn't hard. We I called this years ago. I'm like, hey, dude, he's Elizabeth. The Democrats in front of the next election are going to destroy Jerome Powell. He's going to be a speed bump. It's his fault. We're in a recession. It's his, not us, not our spending. It's Jerome Powell's fault. Um, it's funny because I'm old enough to remember Ben Bernanke in front of Congress when he was Fed chief in the financial crisis. I called him Scotty in the engine room. He kind of looked at senators and congressmen and said, I'm giving you all I got. I can't give you any more, Captain. You all need to act. I, I, I only have this many tools, but now it's completely Jerome Powell's fault that <clears throat> you know we're in this situation, which it clearly is not. Um, it, it, <clears throat> excuse me. I had I had dinner with this guy. He's as creepy as his brother. He's here in Boca. Uh, we call it a mafia dinner. Well, we call it Bible study to our spouses, right? We're going to Bible study every Wednesday night. It's a bunch of people in Broward and South Florida who are, I don't know why I'm invited to this thing, but he was at a dinner and I got to sit next to him. He's, he's, he's a creep. <clears throat> he's a creep. Um, uh, Harrison previously asked, what does ground school look like in TGO? I love that question. Underneath member content, ground school, first of all, you get three manuals, primary, intermediate, and advanced. Download them, print them out, do whatever you need to do. You need to start reading your manuals, but you need to go back. We, I, I need to schedule a fresh round of these. <clears throat> I think Goose is going to help me out. You need to go start watching the full throttle training. There are eight briefs you need to watch in order. Session one, this is the stock market. These are calls, these are puts. Session two, session three, session four. So ground school is right there. Great question. Underneath member content, you go to full throttle. This is where all the full throttle training is, okay? You see this right here? Workbooks and manuals, click right there. So if you joined the 295, the 497, or the 2995 a month, you get access right now to all of these training uh, videos. Okay, there's your training and there's your manuals. Everybody 
give me a vertical head nod that you understand that. And if you did the 497 or the 2995, you're also in the hunters. So there's your hunters. There's your full throttle. Good. Make sense, Harrison? All right. Um, so uh, creepy Joe Biden's brother is he's he, they're, they're all a little creepy. So they're so it's, it's interesting because I love the sub headline here. Where was that? So everything they accused the Trump family of doing, Joe Biden's family is doing, and they Trump didn't. Ivanka, this Jared, that also, and in, they in, looked into these people for six years so far and haven't found shit. Now they're going to get Trump over whatever the Georgia election stuff or the the so political Manhattan district attorney that's going to get him for something. Who was it? Stalin or Lenin? Lenin's head of security said, you show me the man, I'll show you the crime. Even the Pope. I mean, you follow him around for a lot, you know, whatever. It, you will find something eventually. And they will on Trump, but it's just gross. But anyway, um, <clears throat> the uh, it, it, it's just an interesting week, folks. I mean, just scrolling through these headlines. The ECB today did what? 50 which was shocking to the European markets. They raised 50 points. So that, in my opinion, gives Jerome Powell some, some air support to raise 50 next week. This time last week, was today Thursday? No, I was already flying home. So I was on a plane right now. But yesterday last week and Tuesday of last week, Jerome Powell, on the other end of where I was, said what i got to i got to do my job inflation's raging i what what was his final quote he said something like i think our terminal rate is going to be higher than kind of what we what we thought whoa yeah 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 what what's his exact quote here it is you ready the latest economic data have come in stronger than expected which suggests that the ultimate level of interest rates is going to be higher than previously anticipated. Do you remember smart money like Jeffrey Gunlock manages 200 billion at double line capital? What's he say like weeks ago? Uh, Jerome's done and I think he's gonna be cutting uh, around the summer. I'm like, are you insane? Are you insane? Now, that might try, I think that might be a little bit of the tail trying to wag the dog. Well, I manage $200 billion. I'm the smart money. So if we all get together and say, this is what Jerome's going to do, maybe he's got to listen. If you listen to Jerome last week, he said what? People are hurting. I got to act. Fast forward a week. We're all going to die from Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank. Actually, no, we're kind of not. The sun rose, didn't it? Just same in 2008. At the Options News Network, at my news desk on the Chicago Board of Trade, I'm like, don't do this. Don't do it. Let shit break. Let things fail. From the ashes, we'll rise a phoenix. We'll be stronger and better. Be nope. And then, weeks later, out in front of the Chicago Board of Trade, Occupy Wall Street demonstrations and shit, they had a point. Here we are, 15 years later, same thing. Oh, and, I, and, and, and you guys know how I feel about these people. The Mooch, Scaramucci, Bill Ackman. You see him over the weekend? The government has 48 hours to act or we're all going to die. Relax, dude. Go, go to your house in the Hamptons and chill out. Everything's going to be fine. God, the, the sky is falling, people. When I was in Chicago, man, somebody kicked my door open like, oh, my God, Wiz, you know, what, what happened? I'm like, whoa, 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 is anybody dead? No, no, but we're having problems with the quotes or this or that. I'm like, so, so nobody died. No, no. I'm like, then relax. I'm like, I came from a profession where somebody kicking out my door, it could be somebody's dead. So stop it. Right. These sky is falling. People are uh, uh, they are mooches. These, these, these scuzzy guys who say, 
I like to remind you that the taxpayer made money on bailing out Wall Street. No, the fuck we didn't. No, well, AIG paid back the U.S. Treasury twenty-two, you know, billion or whatever. Did I did did I get a check? Did you get a check? Don't tell me the U.S. taxpayer got money back or made money. I didn't get a dime. As a matter of fact, my taxes went up. So don't give me. I hate that shit. I hate using the word hate, but it gets me going when they these Wall Street scumbags. Oh, well, you guys made money on bailing us out. No, no, he didn't. It went right to the U.S. Treasury. And now we're thirty one trillion dollars in debt. Don't give me this bullshit. I. President Edward Matthew Buckley would have said that. Hey, AIG, here's the address, the mailing address of every taxpayer in the country. You're all mailing them a check for five grand or whatever it is. Not to the Treasury. That's what I do as president. Oh, man. Yeah, Andrew, he's working his angle. Yeah, they're, 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 it's uh, all interest is self-interest with people on Wall Street. They ain't, they ain't looking out for you. Trust me. So Credit Suisse rebounds after the Saudis are like, you know what, we're done. But guess what? Somebody had to jump in to save their ass. And again, capitalism has failed. I'm almost getting to that, folks. I love, I can't believe I'm actually agreeing with like an Elizabeth Warren or an AOC at this point when they froth at the mouth and go, capitalism has failed. And my answer is, it has. And they'd look at me and go, what? Oh my God, see? I'm like, it's failed because we're not doing it. If this were real capitalism, everybody below uh, above 250 grand would have been wiped out in SVB. Well, then people couldn't have made payroll to pay their Silicon Valley limousine liberals. Yeah, that's the point. I got furloughed after the 9-11 attacks. Susie's waiting tables at, a, at an Italian restaurant in Southlake. I had three jobs, four jobs at the time. I had to pay my mortgage. No, well, boo for you. Unbelievable. <clears throat> Again, folks, uh, we're going to make money off the stupidity of all of this stuff. So, um, oh, I didn't know that, really? CalPERS had $78 million at SVB in signature. The fact that Barney Frank, who wrote Frank Dodd-Frank, was on the board of Signature Bank is awesome. And he's blaming crypto. Elizabeth Warren is blaming Trump. They're all gross. Personal responsibility, man. Joe Biden, oh, bah, the buck stops with me. Every speech is Donald Trump did this. It's insane. We laughed this week as inflation cooled. It came in right on target. Shockingly, this week, the inflation numbers came in perfectly aligned. Um, but we're slowing down, man. I laughed that Peter Schiff yesterday said, uh, I, I, I think, you know, a recession. Hey, man, there was a recession last year or we're in it, but they changed the definition. When you run things, <clears throat> you can change the names. The Inflation Reduction Act, which actually causes inflation, is named the Inflation Reduction Act. The Affordable Care Act, which isn't affordable, is called the, it's just, a Schedule I drug is not a cigarette or alcohol. It's the, the shit you did that saved your life. What? Unbelievable. So uh, we got uh, to, 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 uh, weekly, some weekly numbers today uh, came in a little better. The Philly Fed just absolutely imploded. Building permits actually strong. Housing starts were strong. So kind of a mixed. These have been interesting, the housing numbers. Like one month they're insanely bad and one month they're kind of good. So you can see the volatility uh, going on uh, in the housing market. <clears throat> Tomorrow. We get uh, cap rate, industrial production. These will be, the, 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 you know, when you see the little, I'll teach you this in full throttle, but you see the little red thing here. It's like that's high impact expected with the market and the orange is medium. Inflation expectations will be key tomorrow. Um, if people 
are still responding to these surveys like, holy shit, inflation is high. It's a self-licking ice cream cone. When people think inflation's high because it is, it re it's just it, it keeps going. Last night at the sh sheriff's dinner, it's like people wanking about prices of everything. It's a it's sticky. I think it was who Dalio or the other smart money legendary investor this week said a couple of years from now, we think inflation is going to be at three or four percent. It's sticky. It's sticky. And we're not doing anything uh, to stop it. So. Yeah, exactly, Bob. And tomorrow is a quad witching day. It's going to be a very busy day of quarter uh, quarterly options expiring. Yeah, it's the, a quad witching can be a lot of volatility. All right, so we laughed this week as this was easy. I told you last week as things imploded, if you were a TGO member last week, we pounded this into the dirt. On Friday, I closed a, what was it, a tredge? Uh, for 12, well, the bear put spread, the total profit of a tredge I closed last week was 15 grand. Like one of the ones I showed you how to do this week, we clo I closed one of mine on Friday for 15 grand. I think that was in a week. On limited risk, this isn't like I'm risking 100 grand to make 50, no, no, no. This was a tredge like I should, this was a costless tredge. We did a bear call spread that like brought in 4,500 bucks, and I turned around and bought a bear put spread that cost around the same, if not a couple hundred bucks out of pocket. So for a couple hundred bucks out of pocket, 15 grand. There's a, essentially a lifetime membership with one tredge trade. That was last week. That wasn't even this week. So over the past two weeks, folks, as this has been happening, if I added it up, it's probably close to 30 grand in two weeks on this Go so check out other services right now. My email box for the past two weeks has been pretty quiet, except for whoever sent me uh, the Motley Fool thing, <laughs> their apology. Do I have that? Who sent that to me? When you guys sent that to me, the, the apology. Like, sorry, we got complete. Oh, there it is. Cecil. Thank you, Cecil. So, sorry, we got got you completely destroyed uh, you know what good on them well you know what not good on them medium on them how how can you not fall on your sword so this is uh i you know this side you know i have shitty trades and i'll fall on my sword but not like this man this is so there there's an apology letter from uh you know from this so good on them. They debriefed. They they but you know a, a debrief letter just ain't necessarily the. Uh, can I get my money back? Oh uh, no. So. Um. <clears throat> uh. <laughs> Andrew F. Motley Fool. I was stupid enough to to go long on their shit. I played their game and my portfolio went down fifty percent. Wow. Unbelievable. Uh to to uh Kevin, I'll look into that. It's they they should be HD. I, I don't know why they weren't recorded in HD. I'll take a look at that. I, I did not know that, so thanks for the heads up. All right, let's go. Solo Amazon. So uh like I and I a couple more buzzes, so we might even be done with full throttle. Uh, well, whatever there, I, I don't know. We might be done with full throttle, but we're going to, and one more time, here you go. Here's your final full throttle call. Uh, Cause I'm going to get into solo Amazon. Who's buried in Grant's tomb. What do we trade in solo Amazon? So kind of a duh moment, but so this service solo Amazon is not part of full throttle. Solo Amazon is every Monday at uh, 10 AM. We start the brief, uh, start the week with a solo Amazon brief. Why do we come up with Solo Amazon? Well, first of all, I'm not going to give you the whole marketing brief of Solo Amazon. I'll give you the cliff notes. It is, I call it the Death Star. It's its own planetoid, folks. It is taking over everything. Now we're back to, <clears throat> excuse me, pre-pandemic. I mean, this was, this was a no-brainer. We destroyed it. And we're still making money on the way down. I'll show you a long-term bullish position that you can take right now. Amazon will rise again. It's maybe like the South or whatever, just like the Death Star, blown up by a bunch of teenagers 
uh, and they rebuilt it. So De- Amazon's taking over everything. It should or could be the only stock you need to own for the rest of your life. Why? I need to diversify. No, you don't. Warren Buffett said diversification is for people who don't know what they're doing. D- yeah, that I love that, that Warren Buffett sentence. He's like, I don't need to diversify. Oh, good. Yeah, that was a nice snipe. If you did the 3850, 3845, look at, I didn't fire that. I actually typed, damn it, I missed that snipe. Uh, but yeah, 38, now we got a good run going here. It was a 3850, 3845. Uh, would have been a really nice night. Now, get ready. I'd close that one and get ready to do a bearish one because we're going to do a- – and over the past – you know, what was it? Tuesday, I said, we're going to see 3,900 into the close. It'll pin probably there. Boom. What did I say yesterday? We're going to get a rally up to 3,875. Boom. It's like I do this for a living or I know what I'm doing. So we'll probably move around a little bit and then probably get a, ra- a mid-afternoon rally into the close. All right, back to Amazon. But, yeah. That's a nice run out of uh, out of SPX. <clears throat> so, um, the uh, two, 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 two. All right. So, oh yeah, I was telling you about the hunters. Uh, final call for the stuff, and then we'll do solo Amazon. Um. Oh hey, congratulations to me. I don't talk like that often, obviously. Old me would, but uh, yesterday we went over twenty thousand downloads of the max afterburner podcast folks this is this has blown me away i think we're still i don't think we're going to move up much but in the top two percent of podcasts on the planet well that doesn't sound well i had to google it there's like 2.9 or 3 million podcasts on the planet so the fact that we're in the top two percent of podcasts on the planet is freaking awesome so uh congratulations to us oh well and thank you for listening i never thought i hate hearing me talk i don't even like talking now i think i'm talking too long and we're going to get done and going here but check out the max afterburner podcast when you went uh who just asked that pj here's the deal yes for the for the hunters and it, it there's it actually has noises too i think you can silence them but i think it like a little bell rings or something like that whenever somebody posts something uh, in here. Okay. Lifetime is a group me app. You can be on your phone with the lifetime and it's also obviously online right here. This is what lifetime uh, looks like. Okay. So, and I'm going to put Rosie in here. So Rosie is our chief medical officer. So Rosie is like whiz. I want to learn how to trade, uh, options. So, uh, Rosie uh, is our chief medical officer. If you don't know who she is, she just got back from uh, Costa Rica. She was with Aaron and I and Susie, uh, and she is a badass uh, former F-14 Tomcat pilot turned doctor. Could you be less of an underachiever? 700 carrier landings, seven deployments. I did two and a half, and I thought I was cool, and I was a stud. She did seven deployments folks. And now she's a doctor. So that's our chief medical officer. So Rosie, uh, is, is joining the, uh, uh, the lifetime team. So, all right. Um, where was I, we got to get into Amazon. Let me stop selling shit and get into why we're here. Cause I want to be on time. So Amazon it's diversified. If you're sitting here going, why would it? So I only own in my personal accounts and my family accounts that I manage, or I teach my kids to try to try and manage. I manage Susie's account. Um, Amazon. I am long Amazon and I am long some psychedelics. Mind Med and Sill. That's it, folks. Everything else that I'm doing year to date are snipers. Now, we did some regional shots this week. I'll, I, I think we did some uh, Facebook earnings trades. Oh, we did tar- Target too. Like a Target popped on really shitty earnings, and when it gapped open, we fired a couple bear call spreads, and the thing imploded. That was beautiful. So here's why I'm rambling about this. I have no longs in my portfolio other than Amazon and psychedelics. You join Topkin Options. Next week, we'll talk psychedelics and how to get bullish on that sector. That is the healing. That's the healing. Exactly. Thomas is like, I'm in Apple, Amazon, and TLT. That's it. So Goose, I think you're going to see Goose next week. 
for a couple of briefs because spring break next week for me, going to uh, Aspen with the kids, my annual ski trip. When in doubt, run to Ma. And that's another reason to be in Lifetime because I can be sitting on my chairlift. I've been, I send trades out when I'm on a chairlift. When in doubt, run to Ma. Microsoft, Apple, Amazon. Did you see how they've been performing? When in doubt, run to Ma. If you want something to be bullish on because you just can't stand the sniper shots and volatility, which I love, when in doubt, the market runs to Ma. Microsoft, Apple, Amazon. You cannot go wrong with Ma. Your Ma loves you. Now, China decides to invade Taiwan and throw Apple out of China. I mean, there, are, there is risk with like an Apple. Uh, there's risk in anything. But with Amazon, folks, it's diversified. Seven, eight years ago, whenever it was, I told you, full disclosure, I flew for FedEx. Hated it. Miserable. I was 32 years old. I couldn't stand flying at night and trying to sleep in a hotel during the day. So why am I rambling about that? Because a buddy of mine called me from corporate. He's like, dude, you trade. I'm like, yeah. He's like, what's who's Jeff? He runs Amazon, right? I'm like, yeah. He's like, I just heard from my buddy at GE aircraft leasing that he's leasing five jets. I'm like, he's going to do it. And my buddy's like, do what? I'm like, put you out of business. <laughs> now, Amazon carries more cargo than FedEx and UPS combined. And they're carrying FedEx and UPS packages. So Amazon, folks, is diversified. AWS, Amazon Web Services, is Microsoft. Uh, Amazon Prime, their entertainment arm. Folks, it's it's a massive, you ready? Death Star, big marketing department, trading the Death Star. So I'm giving you my commit criteria, folks, for why the only thing you should have in your portfolio is Amazon. Okay, and it will rise again. So let's go to Amazon. My current I mean, look at this, 26 grand just in Amazon trade. This is the solo Amazon portfolio. Right now, we have a Amazon position that's up 4,700 bucks. These, this trade I'm going to show you is slow and steady wins the race. There are times when the market gets does this, right? Let me go to SPX. If you were at TGO, let's do a 10-year chart, folks. For years, I would be doing synthetic stock on JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs, uh, AIG, uh, Amazon. During this time period, folks, doing synthetic stock resulted, and my TGO members can jump in here, six-figure profits. It would take two years or three years, but folks, this, these, are, these are slow and steady wins the race. But the last three years has been an absolute shit show all over the place. So I've had the shift from nice, slow and steady, long uh, into the tactical trading that we've been doing and printing money on. So this will, I will be hopeful. This will happen again. Based on Kamala, Joe, Ukraine, China, Taiwan, Israel, I don't know if it will. Folks, we could all be dead in a year of a nuclear explosion. That's not a joke. It's, it's a fact. We are hurtling towards a, well, Samantha Power two weeks ago said what? We're at war with Russia. We're just, the Ukrainians are fighting it. What, what, what did you say? Well, after we blew up the Nord Stream pipeline uh, with underwater explosives that SEALs placed out of a submarine, four or three of them exploded. One of them did not, government spec, because they had been there for months. Great, read Seymour Hirsch. So, here, tangent back on track. I, psychedelics and Amazon is it for me. Long-term bullish. Put it on your, I got a whiteboard up here. I have my trade ideas, you know, in a, in a, you know, unicorn blue sky area, the financials. What? Joe Biden and the Republicans will not let banks fail. They, they said it this week. We're going to backstop everybody. Uh, okay. After this kerfluffle settles, we'll, maybe we'll get bullish on JP Morgan and the banks. Right now, no. We did some nice trades this week for a total of like just over 4,300 bucks with those two trades. So, anyway, um, 
the exactly Barry. I would do synthetic stock on the Moz right now. But let's do Amazon since we're in Amazon. So my current position, I think this is a month or two old. I got this trade on when it was at a hundred. Oh wow, we're nice pop today out of Amazon. Look at that. So this position, ladies and gentlemen, let's sell an at the money call right now, as a matter of fact. Sorry, I'm seeing trades for tomorrow. I'm gonna sell five. 225 bucks by tomorrow. I'm going to sell five of tomorrow's one on one calls. If you're aggressive, you sell five of the uh, of the hundreds. That's kind of at the money. You bring in 400 bucks. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, hang out because you're not a current member and you don't have this current position on. I'm going to do this one. I'm going to sell five of the one on ones for tomorrow because I have synthetic stock that I'm going to show you. And this is really cool. Every week I can sell upside calls against Amazon. So here's what happens <clears throat> right now. I dropped this over in the lifetime. Let me just give it a little bit more clarity. Selling upside calls against synthetic stock. Copy. So that goes to the, in the trades only thread. <clears throat> Nice run. Get ready to snipe on SPX. And then over here in the Hunters. All right. So uh, let's build a trade together. If you're sitting here like, what is this guy doing? I'm going to show you what I'm doing. We, in the, op in the land of options, folks, we can hop in a time machine and look at this. We can fly all the way out into the future of December of 2025. This is why I love options. Do not ever trade another stock again in your life. It makes no sense. So we are going to fly all the way out 1,009 days. Why? I want to give Amazon as much time as possible for it to climb. Folks, stocks over time tend to do what? Unless Democrats are running the country and destroying us. Tend to go up over time. Or the Fed jumps into safe capitalism the markets go up. Okay. So Amazon two years from now, two and a half years from now should be higher. I can be wrong, but you only do the tactic. Look at that monster run. You only do this tactic on names that you believe will be around in two, two and a half years. Does anybody think Amazon will be bankrupt in two and a half years? Possible? Yes. Probable? No. Anything is possible. Okay, so I'm going to show you how you can get long-term bullish on Amazon and not buy the stock. But this trade is going to act exactly as if you own the stock. It is called synthetic stock. Now, that's an SAT word. What does synthetic stock mean? It means two things. You, since you don't own the shares like a shareholder, you don't get to vote. Last time I checked, Jeff and his ex-wife own Amazon and they don't care about your vote. You also, since you don't own shares, you don't get a dividend. Last time I checked, Jeff Bezos said what? I will never pay a dividend out of Amazon. Why? Because the dude is brilliant. He says, uh-uh, if I'm making money at Amazon, I'm taking that profit and putting it where? back into the Death Star, putting a competitor out of business, innovating, buying five more jets, making more movies. On He's like a dividend. What am I, stupid? I love that. So with synthetic stock, you don't have to get a vote or a dividend. Who cares? You don't want it anyway. So here's what we're going to do. <clears throat> if you're new to options, there's an hour, hour and a half synthetic stock lecture in the full throttle training that you need to watch. I'm going to give it to you in about five to 10 minutes, five to 10 minutes. That's an hour in your training. This is why we do the training separately, right? You need to sit with a glass of wine and watch those videos because in the live trade briefs is the markets open. I got work to do, right? So I don't, this will be a hybrid training, but quick. If you currently Amazon is at a hundred bucks. I love this because this is my current position <laughs> at the hundred, but let's go build a new one. So if you 
wanted to be bullish on Amazon and you just know a little bit about options, what could you do? Amazon is currently 100 bucks. You could buy some at the money calls. All right, Wiz, that's options 101. I'm bullish on Amazon all the way out a couple of years. I'm going to buy some calls. Yes, love it. What can you also do if you're bullish on Amazon out into the future? You can sell in at the money put. Okay. Now, if that confuses you, get into the full throttle training. But you're kind of acting like an insurance company. When you sell a put, you're saying, I don't think it's going to be below a hundred bucks in two and a half years. When you buy a call and sell a put with the same expiration and the same strike, you get a tactic called synthetic stock. Let me show you what it looks like. Over here on this PL diagram is long stock, and then that's what yours looks like. Do, do they look the same? Yeah, they do. <laughs> that's what synth synthetic stock is. You're getting the benefits of being a Amazon shareholder without coming out of pocket a lot of money to be an Amazon shareholder. This is why I love talking, you know, people last night like, oh, you trade options? I heard they're dangerous. Ah, that's kind of stupid. That's what they wanted you to think when options first came out in the 70s. Bunch of rich white dudes with cigars in Chicago going, dude, instead of like actually having to own the stock, let's have pieces of paper that give us the right to do that. Brilliant. Oh, you retail, you, you, you don't understand this. Those days are over with, folks. So synthetic stock. Now, you're, if you did what I taught you earlier in the week, you looked here first and you freaked the hell out. Oh, my God, Wiz. With one contract, you're risking 10 grand, 11 grand? No, thank you. The risk on this th that E-Trade is showing me is what? Amazon going to what? Zero. Can it in the next two and a half years? Yep. Will it? Nope. Look at the probability of your max loss. It's Mr. Blutarski's GPA from Faber College. 0, 0.0. I'm sure there's a one out here at like the 20th decimal point. The odds of getting killed by a golden retriever are never zero, right? So the odds of Amazon going out of business are never zero. But folks, you can't call the E-Trade Risk Management Department and say, Hey, man, it's Wiz. Amazon ain't going to zero. Why are you haircutting me or, or margining uh, me at this risk? They're not even going to take your phone call. So what can we do to show the E-Trade Risk Management Department that we're pretty smart? Why don't we buy what I call a disaster put underneath this position? What's a disaster? Well, to me... 30 plus years of doing this, 20%. They like to say if the market goes down 20%, it's in a bear market. Or if a stock goes down 20%, oh my God, it's, it's. So why don't we just buy a disaster put 20% under where the stock is? Brilliant. So I just bought one of the same uh, expiration 80 puts. That's 20% underneath 100 bucks. We were risking 11 grand in this trade. Check out the magic wizard did. What is our max potential loss now? Four grand. Thank you. You can hold your applause. That's what we did. We bought a disaster put underneath it. Okay. Now, this is called a what? A debit spread. We are coming out of pocket $2,000 to do this trade. Okay. Uh, for the solo Amazon model portfolio, $100,000. I don't want to risk more than five on any one trade. But to be honest with you, I'm okay with going above the five, especially on a long term bullish position. Okay. I'd go, I, how many we do on this one? Five, right? Maybe even five of these. But you, again, you, you could do one contract, man. Um, now, the max potential loss of this is, well, you know what? Let me, 
No, I like this. If I were to do this trade today, I would do this. But I already have it on in the background. Let me grab a screenshot of this so I can give it to the free folks. And because I want to demonstrate sending out a text and email alert. File, save as. Now I'm going to show you how to make a little money every week to pay for this position. This is cool. I love this stuff. You ready? Let me grab the screenshot of the risk. <clears throat> Excuse me. No, I wouldn't fire that yet. I think we had that massive rally because Janet uh, is testifying. I think she's in front of the Senate or the House, and I'm sure she's full of shit. Everything's great. All is well. I wish I were a congressman sitting right there. I would I would be laying into that woman respectfully, but oh, man. All right. So right now, ladies and gentlemen, on your screen is synthetic stock with a protective put. That's kind of what I call it. We have synthetic stock on and a protective. Oh, thanks, Rick. Now. Now it's going to make sense what I just did 10 minutes ago with my existing position. What can we do? Why don't we sell a front month? What's the front month? We're sitting in a front month. Why don't we sell five of tomorrow's, either the 100 or the, you know, the, the 101 that I just sold? Look at that. We could sell five of, sorry, tomorrow's wrong expiration, sell five of tomorrow's 100 calls, not puts. Let me make sure I get all this right. Sell five of tomorrow's 100 puts. Five times, what's that, 800 bucks? That's You're bringing in $400 on these short calls for tomorrow. Okay? Does that make, actually, I got to grab a screenshot of this. <clears throat> Lucas, it was Lagarde lying through her teeth for the ECB press conference. Oh, maybe that's what it was. Let me grab a screenshot of actually this trade. That's a, this is a little bit more. This is the entire trade. <clears throat> so this is, you know, a, a, essentially a synthetic covered call. Again, don't get wrapped around the names. In the full throttle training, you can get wrapped around the names. Like, this is a synthetic stock protective put covered. Yeah, okay. Who cares what you call it? It just, it is. It's a great looking trade to um, bring in some, each week we can sell front month upside calls, okay? And bring in a little money. We can get to the point where we keep bringing in money each week on those short calls that the trade is paid for. We're almost there with my existing trade. It, it, it'll, you can have the options market pay for this long-term bullish position. Let me hit preview. I'm going to send this. This will be, let me give this to the lifetime and uh, the uh, hunters, and then I'm going to send out a text and email. All right, so here's the hunters, Amazon, new synthetic stock position all right so the hunters get it and lifetime and then i will send it out to the solo amazon members bruce nope Let, let's do a little uh let's do a little training here you're right tomorrow is the 17th when you see a month and a year right here, it is the third Friday of the month. One, two, three. So the March 23 options that you see on my screen are for March 17th, okay? Different brokers display this differently. Everybody give me a vertical head nod. I will teach you this in training. This is a monthly option. This is a monthly option. This is a monthly option. They expire the third Friday of every month. These are weekly options. They have a month, a day, and a year. Does everybody understand that? Again, if, that, if you don't get that, that is, I think, the first lecture in your full throttle training, okay? Join today, folks. Start watching your full, full throttle training. Download the workbooks and the manuals. Start watching the training sessions, okay? 
That makes sense, Bruce? No, that's all right, man. It's all good. It is all good. Arthur, yeah, I know Jeff Bezos isn't this, the CEO anymore. It's Andy Jassy. Ladies and gentlemen, does anybody in this room believe that Jeff Bezos is not running Amazon? Why did Jeff Bezos step down as CEO? You don't have to type. I'll tell you why. Do you not remember him being grilled with like Mark Zuckerberg? Remember when they had the tech CEOs on and they just got destroyed? That's why. I'm pretty sure Jeff Bezos is like, you know what? I'm good. I'm going to, you be the CEO. I'm going on my 500 foot yacht around the world. That's why he's not the CEO. But he and his ex-wife own a quadrillion shares of Amazon. Jeff Bezos is the CEO Demetrius. How about we call it that? All right. So let's talk real quick about trade management. Okay. When I sell five of tomorrow's calls, I need Amazon to be below 100 by tomorrow, and I make 400 bucks, 350 bucks. If, for some reason, Amazon starts rallying and goes through those short calls, eject, close them. Okay, treat it like a bear call spread. Hey, man, my calls are uh, in a little danger. Close them. The good news is you make more money with Amazon going up with the synthetic stock, then you quote lose on these short calls. It's math. I can show it to you. Trust me. You want Amazon. You need me on that wall. You want Amazon to go up in value. Duh. That's why you're in the synthetic. But that's why I, I'll teach you. It's in all the full throttle training. I'll teach you how much above the current strike price to sell those short calls. It's in the training. This is my salesmanship talking. I'm not going to sit here and teach you all that because I'm done lifting my skirt up. But in the full throttle training, you get the whiz SOP on how to sell short calls. I love that. What a great segue. Yes, I will do that right now then. Uh, so on that note, it is time if you want Solo Amazon, it's 97 bucks a month. Again, a bottle of wine last night was about 150. Um, I need you where Solo Amazon Monthly. There is the link. Reminder, if you are in full throttle, it is full throttle. It is not Solo Amazon. This is every Monday at 10 a.m. Full throttle, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Okay. Also, with just solo Amazon, you don't get the full throttle training unless you buy the upgrade. I think when you click on this, the 97 bucks a month, if, you, if you're not like, yeah, I still want to see if this guy's an idiot, do the 97 bucks a month, full throttle, uh, uh, solo Amazon, and then I think it's a $195 upgrade to get access to the training. Okay? Strongly recommend if you're just doing solo Amazon, you do the full throttle training, folks. It's cheap. There are people charging thousands of dollars for, uh, you know, options, training videos or CDs, 195 bucks, man. I charge for the execution. I charge for the live trading. The training should be, it, it's a, it's cocktail sauce, right? Shrimp or vehicle for eating cocktail sauce. Okay. So, however, comma, if you want to save 20, 25%, do the annual. Let me give you the annual for, well, too late. I already gave you the monthly, but here, do the annual, folks. It's cheaper. It's $8.97 for a year. Let me give you that link. $8.97 for a year. Now, before you even do any of that stuff, if you were kind of thinking about lifetime, you get everything. So let me let me just finish with the $8.97, but I got to remind people, if you do lifetime, you get everything for life. And I forgot to brief this on the lifetime. You get to designate. Nobody else out there does this but me because I care. You're allowed to put the ladder down. If you're senior, uh, you can designate an immediate family member. I just got an email from somebody who's like, Wiz, I'm getting ready to, I, I know what I'm doing now. I want to give this to my son. Absolutely. Welcome aboard. You can give your lifetime membership to immediate family member for free. So, the best deal is the monthly lifetime because you get everything. You don't have to do full throttle on solo Amazon. So, okay. 
Barry, do it. Started with solo, added training, moved to full throttle, moved to hunters. Look at that. I'm going to write that down. So Barry is a Barry. Here's Barry's journey right there. Quick reminder, when we have thousands of people registered, we have to be in what's called go to webinar. So when you become a member next week, we're in go to training. So you all see each other chatting back and forth and people are friends and all that stuff. But I, it's it's a go to webinar limitation. M less than 200, you can be in go to go to whatever. Uh, and then in this, we got to be in this one. So I see everybody's chat, but yeah. All right. Awesome, Barry. Thank you for saying that. So there's the, there's Barry's journey. And he's he I love he's doing some solid trading, too, man. I love all of this stuff. Yeah, I'll answer that. Hang on. Let me I want to I want to steal Barry's. Barry, Barry Journey, J-O-U-R, anyway. Yes, uh, and I need to send out the text and email and I'll show you. Uh, Mark, just shoot me a, uh, just shoot me an email. You, you, I, I should have sent you the lifetime agreement back in the day, maybe I didn't. Uh, just shoot me an email, Wiz, here's who I want as my successor and I got you. All good. All right, so. Before I go blast a text and email alert, again, there is a full throttle training session on synthetic stock that you gotta you gotta watch. It'll it it I take an hour to an hour and a half to go through this. Full throttle session two, options basics, calls and puts. This, as soon as you get airborne at Topkin Options, folks, member content, full throttle, go start your training. And then obviously if you did the hunters, the monthly or the annual, get over uh, here as well. <clears throat> Harrison, yeah, you can you can uh you can shoot me uh an email. Uh or actually, you know what? Harrison shoot goose an email. Goose at topgunoptions.com. So yes, there is uh one-on-one -on -one coaching available. I can't do it, man. I used to do it back in the day. I have zero time uh for coaching. The best kind of coaching that I'm doing right now is right here. Like Cecil asking me yesterday, like, hey dude, what's your mindset behind this? So this is kind of, <clears throat> this is coaching in a way. Cause you get, you get me uh, 24 seven. I mean, literally in the group me, I mean, it's on my phone. You know, I was sitting there last night at dinner, putting out some intel and stuff. So this kind of is coaching, but Harrison, if you no kidding want you and Goose on a, a he'll build you out a coaching program. So yeah, great. Great question. If you're interested in coaching folks one-on-one, -on -one, shoot Goose an email. Uh, and the dude's brilliant. He and I have, you know, he's flying a Viper, I'm flying a Hornet. We both want to shoot down MiGs. We just kind of fly and fight uh, our airplanes a little differently because they're little different airplanes. He's got a great retirement strategy that he might launch here as a product, which if you're in Lifetime, you get for free. It's included in Lifetime. Any future stuff that I launch, it's yours, right? So. But yes, coaching is available. Shoot goose and yeah, this is the lifetime, folks. Sorry, I'm jumping around, but people are hitting me with because you sense the door is closing, isn't it? Because I am getting ready to leave because I got busy day ahead of good stuff. There's the lifetime monthly. It's only twelve months. As soon as I see you join this, you get a. You saw me do it to Mike and Rosie. You get a uh, two links from me to join the lifetime group, and then obviously you get access to everything. Solo Amazon uh full throttle everything we do here at top gun options all right now it before i do this are there any other are there any trading questions about that amazon position any other i, I was thinking about doing a spread but i'm running out of time like a uh, uh let me bring up a three-month chart here <clears throat> I was actually thinking about a bear spread. Well, maybe that's why I'm going to leave you hanging. I'm not going to do it. Uh, you got to join. I'm done. I've given so much free stuff this week and, you know, close to 19 grand in profits. I'm done. Uh, PJ, I love this question. Um, and Sandra, this will be, this will answer yours because PJ just said something similar. So PJ Great point. He said, so wait a bit on the Amazon trade until things settle down, right? And then somebody said, do we value bombs? And then somebody said, should we wait for earnings? So good questions. Earnings aren't, and this is estimated, not for another month. 
Q1 earnings aren't for another month. So I would not wait. Why? Who knows what earnings are going to be? Oh, if they suck, it's going to go down. What if they don't suck? What if they finally got their sales trimmed? And, you know, this is the quarter where they're like, we're good. We're back, baby. And it rips higher. Here's what I'll, I say to people who want to wait for a trade. Folks, this is a two and a half year trade. Right? So, you know, two and a half years out in the future, I don't think you're going to be like, oh, I, I could have gotten it for either $3 cheaper or, three, you know, it's not going to move that much, I would think, around, you know, the next earnings unless it is a blowout either up or down. So long, rambling answer to your short questions, I do it now. I, I, I wouldn't wait. Even if there's, you know, still credits, even if we still have a little bit of a financial crisis here, I told you a half an hour ago, when in doubt, run to Ma. Microsoft, Apple, Amazon are all, when people go, because folks, money, money never sleeps, pal. Money goes somewhere. If you're a fund manager, you can't go, holy crap, the world's ending. I'm going to sit on my hands. You don't get paid a bonus for sitting on your hands. You get paid a bonus for deploying capital. Whoop. Financial suck right now. Everybody over to tech. Way. And then there goes the crowd. So I wouldn't, you know, even if we have a little bit more of a contagion here, uh, when in doubt, run them off. Okay. <clears throat> Great point, Mike. Uh, very well said. An earnings trade for April is different commit criteria than a long term 2025 trade. Look at that. Mike adding value right out of the gate. I could not have said that better. We'll do some trades around at Solo Amazon. We're, uh, we will be doing trades around uh, earnings. Uh, but yeah, that's two different commit criteria. One is a front month tactical trade and then strategic two years out into the future. So we can be bipolar, folks. You can be long term bullish on Amazon and short term bearish. And that's why I say this might be the only stock you need in your portfolio because that's a couple trades. The synthetic stock is one trade. The, you know, uh, technically adding a short call on top of it is kind of its own trade. We could do a bull or bear spread uh, next week, and that's three trades. So if you've heard my pitch before, I do this for a living, and I got Amazon, two psychedelics, and I'm trading snipers like crazy. That's a lot. If you got... 10, 15 positions in your portfolio. I don't know how you do it. That's I, I, God bless you. But how are you an expert in all of that? I'm getting to be an expert in the psychedelic space. I've been trading Amazon for ages. So, but if you got 10, 15, 20 names in your portfolio, how are you? Whatever. I'm not even going to ramble about that. All right. Are we done with trading questions? Because if we are, I'm about done as well. You can sit here and watch me send out a text alert and see what it looks like. Uh, so I'm on new short calls and synthetic. See, I'm already sitting here pecking like a chicken. New Amazon short calls and synthetic stock for uh, Dece25 check email for details. Now I'm going to go over and build an email and it's going to take me five minutes. Again, if you're in the hunters, you already got it. If you're in lifetime, you already got it. If you're just paying 97 bucks a month, you're going to have to wait. It's been about 15 minutes since I posted those new and synthetic stock. Okay. But the text alert comes sin, uh, and you get screenshot. I'll, I'll drop in screenshots uh, of the trades and all sorts of stuff. Okay. <clears throat> but I'm not, you, you don't have to sit here and watch me do this. Uh, I usually end the brief and I'll sit here and blast it out because it is going to take about five minutes. So let me wrap up then. Any other questions, uh, concerns? Oh, by the way, smart remarks. What a hell of a week, folks. I mean, I threw on solo Amazon at the end. Usually I do this is its own marketing brief after full throttle. Uh, but I'm like, you know what? Let me just let me add it on. So you got an extra an extra brief today. Jeff, thank you for your time and the information. The U.S. Treasury Department was given to the Federal Reserve in 1920. No kidding, man. Uh, thank you. Kind words, folks. I, I, like I said, man, uh, I don't give you death by PowerPoint. I gave you 
comatose by PowerPoint Monday morning because I have to introduce myself. If you don't know who I am, some of my strategic partners emailed for this. That was it for me, man. Monday morning, some PowerPoints, and then we did what? We've been in this thing live trading, and I've been doing it in front of you. So I can't drag you any further than today. I'm closing the doors, and we're going to uh, to get airborne. Thank you for this. If anyone is wondering if they should join, I say fly Navy. <laughs> Thank you, Harrison. Definitely fly Navy. Um, so I, I can't do anything else, folks. I'm, I'm kind of done. Uh, this week takes a lot out of me because there's a lot of new people running around and asking questions. I love it, but it kind of burns me out a little bit. Fridays, I don't do anything. I, I, well, Fridays are my foundation day. I got my podcast. I do fundraising. I, so Fridays are my off days, but I'm still in the lifetime and I'm still in the hunter's trading. So uh, Fridays going forward, I might launch a No Fallen Heroes uh, kind of webinar and stuff and do some guests and psychedelics. So we will, uh, I'll tell you maybe about some Friday stuff that's coming and uh, we'll be good to go. Look at this. Now we have, I think at the beginning of the week, folks, didn't we have like 61 in here? They say in older men like me, the memory is the second thing they go. I can't remember the first. Uh, we had like 61 in here on Monday. There's 74 in here now. So welcome aboard to all the folks that are in the hunters right now. And then obviously we, I'm seeing some stragglers uh, into uh, the Lifetime uh, group as well. So welcome aboard the Lifetime. And we have 214 uh, Lifetime members in here. So great, great mini hedge fund. <clears throat> Kevin, uh, so to be clear, in order to have access to full throttle hunters and solo, it's necessary to subscribe to the hunters uh, monthly and annual. Yes, exactly. The only way to get ev absolutely everything, Kevin, is the uh, yes, is the lifetime. Yeah, but I, I'm brief in solo Amazon because some people are like, uh, I'm not ready for the full throttle stuff. I still want to check you out a little bit. That's 97 bucks a month. So this is why I'm briefing you on solo Amazon is its own standalone service. But yeah, if you want solo Amazon and you want full throttle, that's the lifetime group. Absolutely. You you wrote everything perfectly as you understand it. And that's exactly what it is. So there's the lifetime. But yeah, you can a la carte. You can do full throttle and you can do solo Amazon. Some people do that. Some people do the, the full throttle, an annual full throttle, Amazon annual. And then, you know what, Wiz, I want to join the lifetime group. So yeah, it's a it's up to you, bro. So yeah, it's kind of a it's a buffet. Today is buffet day, so I kind of you laid it out perfectly. Go up to the buffet and and grab whichever uh, you want. There are other services out there where it is like one size fits all. I'm like that's brutal. So I kind of again I made I, I took the Steve Jobs approach. Steve Jobs when he started Apple, he's like I, we made cool things that we liked, and if anybody else liked it, it was a bonus. So I made Topkin options for what I think people like me would like, who was an options rock. Uh, and it's, it really is a good system. <clears throat> Ed, just shoot uh, support at topkinoptions.com and email. So Ed, yeah, just sh shoot support at topkinoptions.com and email. All right, all the links are in the chat box for lifetime, solo, full throttle. I know it's a lot of information, but hopefully if you've attended everything, you kind of, Hopefully, uh, I did a, at least semi decent job of, of briefing. And again, you know, I, I don't have the other portfolio up yet, yeah, close to eighteen, nineteen thousand dollars in profitable trades this week, which is uh, it, it's literally I literally paid for a lifetime membership at Top Gun Options in three trading days. That doesn't I I, I can't I can't do any better. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm Ed in the, I'm Scotty in the engine room. I'm giving you all I got free people. I can't give you any more. The replay from this brief will be on here in about a half an hour. I got to get up, get a cup of coffee and stretch my legs after I send this text and email alert. We're done closing the doors, folks. Do me a favor, get airborne. If you have any questions and you're, I'm closing the brief right now, you can email support at topkinoptions.com. And if they can't answer it, they'll forward it on to me and I'll, I'll try and help you out, but we're good, man. We're getting airborne with or without you right now. So you got all the links. <clears throat> I'll send out a follow-up email with the replay with the links again, just in case uh, you have to think about it or something like that. But if you're airborne uh, and you're in the hunters or you're in the uh, lifetime group, I'll see you in a little bit. If not, I did my best. Okay.
All right, folks, have a literally have a great rest of your day going to the Panthers game tonight. If you're ever in South Florida and it's hockey season and you're a member, please shoot me an email. I'd love to have you as a guest in the uh, in the Top Gun Option Suite. We're right on the right underneath the cutoff to make the playoffs, man. So the next couple of games are pretty good. And if you are a lifetime member, let me end on the, a really big high note. If you are a lifetime member and you make it to South Florida and you read the disclaimer for going on a roller coaster and you meet all those things, I'll try and get you airborne in our L-39 fighter jet. That's my promise to you. You got to be physically capable to do it. And I'll go out. We'll go out and bend the airplane around. My only recommendation is you eat a banana for breakfast because it's going to taste the same coming up as it did going down. <laughs> so, <clears throat> all right. Yeah, I'll give you that. It's uh, right here. Uh, Psychedelic Summer Camp. This is Susie's uh, debrief of Costa Rica. That's the that's the video if you want to see our ugly faces. And then here's the actual uh, podcast if you're driving in traffic. Yeah, thank you. I mean, I, 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 you know, the podcast studio emailed me. They're like, oh, my God, you, you're like one of our only people who's ever broken 20,000 downloads. I'm like, is that good? And I guess it is. So, <clears throat> Eric, they don't get sick anymore. They're kind of used to it. Yeah. Yeah. They're, 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 you get used to it. I get used to pulling G's man. It's my happy play. I love, love the G man. It, uh, it makes me smile. So, all right, guys, I got to go. Have a great rest of your day. Get ready for a text and email alert. If you're a solo Amazon member, I'll send it to you right now. Other than that, I did my best that I could this week and I hopefully you got something out of it. If you don't uh, join, Good luck, man. I love you. I, I love you anyway. Uh, but, you know, we'll be here for the next full throttle next quarter if, if you change your mind. All right, guys, have a great rest of your day. Happy hunting. Make sure you hedge. God bless. Fights on. Namaste and basi basi. Welcome aboard.